Well, if you haven't watched the last video, y'all go check it out. Probably one of the best deer hunters in the state of Texas. Uh, but today we're taking a break from being the best deer hunter and going to be the best squirrel hunter. So we did have our little baby boy. I'll show y'all uh, if you stick around to the end of the video. Make it make our way back home, but do some squirrel hunting. So headed to some family land, and I'll see y'all when we get there. Hopefully we can put some squirrels on the ground because I haven't had good old fried squirrel since last year and it's time Get that? <laughs> well, that's one way to start a squirrel hunt video. I told you I'm the greatest squirrel hunter in the state of Texas, but couldn't do it without the FX M3 paired with the Maven. Uh, this is the Maven RS 3.2. Um, in my opinion, it's the best scope that you can get it from Maven. I love it. I have it on all my long range um, Western guns, but it works great on this FX. So that squirrel took a leap of faith and he's out. One down, a couple to go. We've seen a couple, uh, but they ran off. Couldn't get a shot. So I just need like three squirrels to make a good old stew. So hopefully we can get a few more and have a good old dinner for mama and, and new baby. I go for retail. It seems like this time of year, all I shoot is males. Um, if anybody has any info on that, on why, let me know. But pretty old tree rat. Let's see if we can get a couple more in the in the box. Another big old male. I'll take it. Got a tick on his ear. Well guys, wasn't a total fail. Went a lot better than deer season's gone this year. We got two big old fat squirrels. So we're taking them home right now. We're gonna clean them up and we're gonna cook them up for dinner. I can't be out all day. Got a one day old sitting at the house waiting on me. So um, two squirrels in 30 minutes. Pretty, uh, pretty successful I'd say. So y'all leave in the comments if you wanna see more of this. Uh, something fun is coming soon. Got some rabbit dogs on the way. So we're doing some rabbit hunting this year behind some beagles. 
that'll be a blast. But squirrel hunting's always fun. I love to eat squirrels. So we'll see you at the house. We're gonna clean these squirrels up and figure out how we're gonna cook them. I'm gonna talk to my buddy Stu. He went to the squirrel cook-off this year. So I'm gonna see if he has any really good recipes that I've never tried. Trade knife. This is how I clean squirrels. Multiple ways to clean, clean squirrel, but take the tail. I'm gonna cut right in above that tail. Cut through that tail. Just like that. All right, guys, so I'm going to do a little voiceover for you. Baby was sleeping, and uh, the other two boys were sleeping as well. So you're going to take your squirrel, get it all nice and cleaned up, quartered up, and then you're going to drop it in some boiling water. Um, you want it to cook for a couple hours till that meat comes becomes tender and falls off the bone, and you're also going to use the stock from that water uh, to use in your gumbo. So I got celery, onion, garlic and some bell peppers and here's the roux you're going to use i use about a cup of coconut oil and put about a cup and a half of flour but it really just i eyeball it until i get the good consistency like this you're going to sit there and stir it you're going to not leave that pan until that roux becomes a nice chocolate color i actually don't go as dark as you probably should but that's about as dark as I get it. Maybe a little darker than that right there. And you're going to add your celery, onion, uh, garlic, and bell peppers. Take your stock, add it to that mixture after those onions cook down a little bit until you get the nice gumbo consistency, uh, more of like a soup. And then you're going to pick all your squirrel meat off the bones and throw that meat in there. All right, so we finally have some peace and quiet here in the house so I can talk a little bit, but got our gumbo going. Gonna make us a pot of rice, give it a good stir, and uh, just eat it over some rice. Got some big old chunks of squirrel in there. Looks great. If you want a lot of food at your house, have a child. Because we got more food than we know what to do with, so it's been... Haven't had to cook at all, so making this gumbo was was nice. But I'm gonna make us a pot of rice real quick, and then we'll do a taste test here in a little bit. See what self squirrel tastes like. All right, so we got barbecue and squirrel gumbo. We got Hanson here, gonna do us a taste it. Uncle Hanson. That's it. One out of ten. Oh yeah. Solid eight. Eight, Give it's it good. Eight. It's good. All right. All right, and before we get to that, this is the new secret sauce. So this is our new spice that we came out with. We haven't come out with it, but we need a name for this. So we need it very soon. Y'all drop a comment what you think the new spice should be named. 
uh, this is replacing the red. So this is the original spice that we wanted to come out with, uh, but we never got it exactly right. So now we have it perfect. We're gonna use it. I put some in the gumbo, but I'm gonna spread just a little bit more on there for that flavor. Now let's do a taste test on the squirrel. Squirrel? Squirrel gumbo. You wanna try it, Ryder? Come here. Huh? Got a piece of squirrel in there. Got some sausage in there for all of you that were gonna comment that there's no sausage. There is sausage. Oh yeah, that's real good. It's really good. All right, I'm just giving you squirrel, okay? It's really tender. It's hot. No, it's not. Here, I'll blow on it. Chew it up. Pretty good. Pretty good? One out of 10, what do you give it? Good. Good? I give that, I mean, it's really good. Spicy. Yeah, the new, yeah. there's your little hint on what that's gonna taste like. Ryder's searching for water, but I'll give it. Solid 8A uh, for squirrel gumbo, <coughs> delicious. Let me show y'all the new baby mullet. Y'all haven't seen him, I'm sure y'all been wondering. He just got done eating, hey Bubba. He wants mama. <laughs> That's not the best picture of him. <laughs> well, there you go, That's uh, been my week, is that noise, so. Y'all stay tuned, hit that subscribe button, it comes up, and remember, be good.